Okay. Spamming some 400 APM. Walling off the base, going Archmage. Getting a foodie. I don't know the result of these matches. So. I don't know the result. If I had to pick up the winner from the start, I would say low light, just because it's elf. But this map is pretty good for humans, so I would say it's 50 50. I would say it's 50 50, but maybe. I would give 55% chance to low light and 45% to romantic. Just because low light is good versus human. But it can go both ways. Scouting with the footman, then he sends the archmage to creep. The ogre magi, so seems to be the standard creep route. They don't go for the gold mine, okay, so. In TH versus Moon, TH was going here to creep this one and Expo. But Romantic goes for the safe level 2. Let's see the item. More food is to, to farm, so it's gonna attack at uh, 30, or maybe it's gonna expand, but I doubt it. It's kinda greedy if he gets this camp. And then he expands because he's got all of those low HP footmen, so you know it's not gonna expand. It's gonna pressure instead, and it's doing a good job lowering the HP of the archer, but it doesn't matter because he's got moon wells. Level 2 for low light, trains Imba. Look at, look at the amount of trains. You can creep so easily with them. And it's going for the cancels, it wants to get the Moonwell. I'm not sure about focusing the Archer because it's got Juice. But of course it's gonna drain a lot of Moon Juice as well, so it's not gonna have the healing for the Keeper. Nice Shadow Melt by Low Light. Pressuring the Wisps, so forcing one Dispel, forcing two. Okay, now it gets the Wisp, it's not Dispel in time. And that's a nice arrest if you ask me. He's trying to build the footmill to dodge the wisp kill, but it loses anyway. Pretty good harass, he got like three wisps. Uh, he doesn't have dust, of course, because he couldn't go to the shop, so... He won't be able to get those archers. Uh, low light, pretty fast with his fingers. And Tangle is gonna be the first kill for the Night Elf, he's got four archers. He, he did a very good job not losing a single one of them. Romantic tries to deny the fruity, but he can't do that. And there's more mana, so one more footman kill. Oh, it's greedy, he wants to get both. Nice play, but I'm not sure he's gonna get both. And he does, and he does, and he does. Very nice move by low light. Like, the first thing you would think about is you want to entangle the low HP food, you know. He entangles the foot, the full HP footy, and then it gets the other one with the archers. Now he's blocking with the wisp, like low light, and that's why I say it was the favorite in my opinion. This micro is not flashy, but it's very on point. So he took a beating here in his base, but he got his revenge. Now he's got five archers. He's in a pretty good spot. Archmage is level two, and Keeper is, uh, I think, also level two. Okay, let's remove the fog of war. I want to see everything. No, Keeper is three. Keeper is three. He got way more. And he's, these five archers, these five archers that he didn't lose in the early game makes all the difference, he's got all the map control now, Romantic is down to like two foodies. 
It's down to 29 supply versus 34. With a level 2 uh, Archmage, and it's true that footmen are not useful in the late game, but you don't want to lose them. You can cancel buildings with foodies. You can cancel stuff with foodies. So... This Arras didn't really accomplish too much. I mean, he accomplished a lot, but then he lost everything. It was outplayed, it was out micro And now he's going for the tire 2 expansion with rifles. Or maybe he just wants to creep this camp. Probably just wants to creep this camp because I don't see him in a good position to expand. I mean, it's kind of predictable, right? Of course, he's got five archers, full mana keeper. I don't think you can expand yeah. You cannot even surround the keeper because you don't have the foodies. If he if he had more foodies here, he could surround. Nice block with the MK, doesn't it? Okay, got the boots of speed. That's an accessory, and he's gonna be able to force a TP, I guess. No. Entangle is on point. Doesn't force the TP. If he can't get this camp is big, it's a lot of levels and good item potentially. And low light is getting this camp which is not even not even remotely close as this one in terms of value. And in fact he gets the mana stone. Very good item. Now he's scared for the creep jack, so goes away, he just wants to go for items, so good choice in my opinion. But low light is not interested in the middle of the map. I'm not sure why. Maybe he thinks he cannot contest versus rifle. But he could, because his army is pretty good. I think if he kites with the poison, he can snipe uh, with entangle like a couple, maybe one rifle, and then run away, just waste time. But he prefers to go for. The red camp, and he gets an amazing item. He's got the ancient chunk of endurance. That's so good. The best item he could get. Three three already. Lots of archers from the early game. Lots of triads. It doesn't have the protector though. If he gets this protector, it's a huge. It's huge, and he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. So he's got no static defense, and uh, but he gets the first priest. But those. <clears throat> Those dryads can't do too much versus rifles, but he's got a lot of archers, and archers are pretty damn good versus rifles. Especially if they are outnumbering. So... Alchemist is low though. So if he loses Alchemist, Romantic can achieve a lot. Nice mountain king play here. Uh, he's losing a lot of, of rifles. But low light is losing some marshes as well. Of course, you trade them every day. I mean, trading rifles for archers is bad for the human, it's good for the night elf. Keeper is low, moon juice is low. He has to go to the shop. He's got the orb though, loses more archers. And those three rifles of Romantic are standing pretty good micro. But there's one mountain giant already, and I don't know. I feel like Romantic needs to get a hero kill, or slowly, but surely it's gonna lose the fight. Especially since the... Okay, it's getting more Dryads. Why isn't getting another mountain king? Feels like he doesn't have the time. Uh, 
Mata King doesn't have mana yet. Ancient of War is helping. 47, what is it doing? It's producing more rifles. It's going tire tree, getting a lumber mill. 1 0 upgrade. So, still not optimal. You want to have them 2 0. 4 priests, 3 rifles. So, it's got a lot of healing for sure. It did a good job keeping them alive. I don't know why he went MK and not uh, Alchemist, maybe he wants to have more hero focus, but he doesn't have the healing, uh, the healing spray and the acid bomb. And the Mountain King is gonna fall. I mean, it triggers the potion now, but with the next entangle it's gonna fall. So he needs perfect micro to save this Mountain King, he's catching some heal by the priests. Yeah. It looks like uh, Romantic is out microing low light with that Mountain King play. Playing a Mountain King on the edge, playing with fire. If he gets the Mountain, uh, the Alchemist is gonna be GG. But low light is doing a good job saving it and now he's got two mountain giants but they're low does he have healing spray to heal him keeper's got uh, decent mana uh, but the problem is that those mountain giants one is totally hurt for for low light and there's constant pressure by this mk and dryads are just falling. Dryads are just feeding the heroes of the human. Mountain King almost level 4. <coughs> Trains are gonna be dispelled. So it looks pretty good for Romantic now. Very good indeed. He's gonna get the first night upgrade. His economy is perfect. Because low light was constantly under pressure. Damn! But this mountain giant is, is still standing and now we got eel spray finally. With the last bit of mana, nice staff saving the keeper but the alchemist is so low. And low light doesn't have the double stuff, he doesn't have the resources. He's gonna go for those priests, he knows that if he can remove the healing, then the human will have to back off, but Romantic again is microing them, keeping them back, and keep in mind he's just buying time. For the Paladin, for the Tire Tree, for the Knights, first Knight is on the field and there's constant pressure. He knows that if he gives low light time to go to come back then he's gonna have to face like four mountain giants and that's too many of them now low light is pulling off the wisps trying to get rid of all the mana saving the alchemist once again this is so micro intensive like this is this game was a constant fight it's been like five minutes of constant fight there's no creeping no nothing just fight it looks like low light is holding he is holding unless he loses the um, alchemist which of course he doesn't because there's a stop again and the paladin falls but the mountain giant doesn't fall, oh, nice. So, oh, he managed to get the, set, the double stuff finally. Damn. That was so well played, but Mountain King is level 4 now. And 
Low light looks like it's blocked in his face. I still don't know who's gonna win this game. We have 48 versus 49. It's one of the closest games I've seen recently. It could go, but it could go both ways. It's gonna be decided by some micro here. Keeper is low. Mountain King doesn't have mana though. One more priest is falling. And we have two mountain giants. He doesn't have the critical number of mountain giants. You need the critical mass of four of them in order to be easily able to win fights. He's got only two. And Archimedes is gonna fall. And I think with that, Romantic is in a very good position. But it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Because one more priest is falling. Knights are low. Keeper is level 5. If he reaches level 6, somehow, that can be his win conditions. His win condition. <clears throat> and keep in mind that the human doesn't have an expansion. And the low light has got his trees. So, if he manages to keep his army alive, then he can always uproot and expand for free. And looks like he's holding with some perfect or almost perfect triad micro but it needs mana it needs mana because now we have the paladin and this mountain king is going to have constant healing now i think if archmage was level 5 with the level 3 brilliance aura the human would win for sure but Archimedes is still level 4, so we only have level 2 brilliance. So the mana region isn't that crazy. Those knights are 0 0, by the way, versus. Okay, 0 0 man. 10 giants, 0 0 dryads. What the fuck? I was expecting them to be higher um, upgrades. Level 6 for the Keeper, that could be a game changer, but it needs the Alchemist, it needs the Alchemist, and it needs more mana on the Keeper for sure. Those Dryas are so underwhelming. Uh... Invul Potion on the Archmage by the way, Paladin Falls, oh, this game is so back and forth. This game is so back and forth, I still don't know who wins. TP force now. More rifles, more knights, more priests. Romantic at 54. 5, 4. Paladin at another level. And finally, low light has held. And as usual, the light fighting, the light struggling, and then in the end he holds. And then he's got his level 6, and then he's got his full mana keeper. Not full mana really, but he's got a clarity, he's gonna be almost full mana soon. And he can uproot the tree and expand here. And what can the human do? Nothing, he can only win the fight. Paladin is still level 1. Divine Shield will be so much helpful. If he gets Paladin level 2, that would be a big game changer, because then he can finally uh, keep his Paladin safe and spam those Holy Lights. Because now he should have... I don't know if he went Aura level 3 or if he's got the Water Elementals. I think that's Aura level 3. I think that's Aura level 3 because it's, the, mana is in, the mana region is like... Going very fast. Alchemist is under pressure. Again, the staff by low light is on point, but the keeper is under pressure. And there's nothing on the keeper. If he gets surrounded here, it can be game. And it does. He gets surrounded. Alchemist is out of position. There's nothing he can do. But he can trigger the tranquility. Alchemist is going to come with the staff. And again, low light. No, barely. <laughs> barely. Barely. Almost saved the keeper. This game, this game is madness. Very good game, very good game.
just two more seconds and the alchemist was ready with the staff but the bolt finishing off the keeper and now we have a level 5 mountain king and this human army these heroes are unstoppable paladin almost level 3 and now this game is definitely in favor of uh, romantic because low light doesn't have the time to get this hero back I feel like uh, Romantic could even expand behind this. It should. It should expand behind this. Scanning a copter for scouting. Still 0 0. I don't know why it doesn't get the upgrades though. Dry at zero zero, mountain giant zero zero. That's so weird. I don't know if it's a bug, but I don't think so because the upgrades on the rifles, you can see the upgrade on the mortar teams. So it's just they didn't upgrade their units. Of course, we got the super moon wells, so at least there's a lot of moon joys to work with for low light. You can see that now. And fighting next to the moon wells is not easy for the human, even though there's no keeper, but keeper's gonna be out soon and then we have tranquility and with tranquility maybe low light can still hold, but one mountain giant seems like it's gonna fall and it does. Uh, that's big and there's no mana for tranquility. It needs to drink some juice, it needs it now. Level 5 for the alchemist, keep in mind if this alchemist gets level 6 again the game would be even because then low light can sell the units but look at this army for the human that's pretty damn scary 45 for low light versus 69 69 for romantic is now preparing to expand with his last resources is run out of gold oh i didn't see this so low light was sneaking an expansion. It was sneaking an expansion behind this. That's his hope. If he can get this expo up and get like four or five mountain giants, maybe. But he doesn't have the time. So he needs to work with a massive tranquility here to hold and it needs to use all of his wisps 45 foot for low light only one mountain giant he's trying to hold on with the tree with the ancient of war buying time for his expo oh finally we have one zero knights finally mountain giants always Zero zero it doesn't have the resources for the upgrade staff on the alchemist, but I feel like at this point he should fight with the ancient of war either. And those knights are just not gonna fall because there's a paladin level three with endless mana. And romantic as this game, there's no way low light should be able to win this because the overall level three is too good and the paladin level three is too good. And at this point, Romantic is not even losing anything. He's still at 69. He's not losing a single unit. Mortars with 1-0 upgrades. Yeah, and he's won the game. He's gonna lose another Mountain Giant. Expo is up, but it's scouted. And low light is nothing, it's down to 44 supply. And most of his supply, in fact, all of his supply is dryads versus mortars. So it's gonna call the GG very soon. GG, cool game. But uh, in the end, it was easy, but. The fight versus two mountain giants with rifles. 
versus one mountain giant first and then versus two mountain giants were pretty damn close and it could have gone both ways really 